Hey, this is Keith Krantz with Dominate Web Media, and I'm super excited about Facebook's most recent enhancement, okay? Facebook recently launched their own retargeting or remarketing platform. Okay, I'm not gonna go into detail too much what it is, but basically what remarketing is, if you don't know what it is, is it's if somebody lands on your website or your blog, the system, what Facebook in this case, or maybe AdRoll or Perfect Audience or one of the other companies, will basically kind of leave a cookie. It's like a piece of code on their browser. And so when they leave your website and they go off to like weather.com or in this case, maybe facebook.com, you can now have an ad that shows up that's only showing up to visitors that have visited your website. Okay, so we call it an invisible list. It's really, really cool and it's the highest converting really type of um, ads that you can ever do. So the point is, is Facebook now has their own. So instead of having to use a third party like AdRoll or Perfect Audience, where the ad sizes and placements are restricted, we can now do that with Facebook. So via Facebook's Power Editor, I'm going to show you how to do it here, you can now do retargeting and have access to all the different ad formats like link post ads, video ads, image ads, Facebook offers, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and take a look on how to do it. Okay, so in order to do this, you really need to be inside the Power Editor. So if you don't know how to download the Power Editor, you basically need to be in Google Chrome and on the left side of your ad manager, they'll, it'll say Power Editor and you can just click on Power Editor and it'll download it and then you'll have access to the Power Editor. I've got other trainings on the Power Editor that you can, you can get access to in all my, um, my courses, but right now, once you're in the Power Editor, Basically what you do, and I remember this is a brand new system, so this is going to be changing and I'm going to be providing updates to this, but I just want to get this out there and let you know, basically you, you go down here and you go to create audience and now you go to custom audience. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically create custom retargeting audiences. So to see how it says custom audience from your website. Now, if you don't have this option available yet, don't worry, you will soon. It just hasn't rolled out to you yet. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna hit, you're gonna click this, and then it just says remarketing is a tactic um, for identifying people who took specific action on your website, et cetera, et cetera. And what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to check this box, and then you're gonna have to create web remarketing pixel. So this is the pixel that goes on your website. So I'm gonna click on create web remarketing pixel. Now, Copy the code below and paste it between the head and the head in the web page where you want to track conversions. Now, what you do is you copy this code, okay? Just copy, and then that you're going to give that to your developer. And if you have a spot, you know, it's, you sh if you have a WordPress site or certain types of sites, you you should be able to put it where it goes site wide. And then you'll want to put this pixel there so it goes throughout your entire site. You can also put it on specific individual pages too and so now we're gonna hit create audience and now what you can do is you can just go ahead and name your audience so I can name it something like you know this isn't my ad account here this is another test account that we use but I could put something like dominate web media you know entire site so and then I can put a description there and then I can put the URL here so I could put HTTP colon forward slash www dot dominate web media.com okay so what I could do here is I could put U URL domain or path and if I wanted to I could I could select you domain and so I've got the whole domain in here okay and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put contains any so what this is is like this is basically how you kind of you create your your lists okay so I'm gonna keep it on contains any okay and in the last 30 days. So I can change this from basically 0 to 180 days. 180 days is the max, which means if somebody visited my site 170 days ago, well, from today, it doesn't go backwards. You know, from here on, they're going to start tracking visitors. So if I put 180 days in here, that means if I can be tracking visitors over the next you know six months, the next five months, and not doing anything, and then five months from now, I could create an ad campaign that shows only to the people that have visited, you know, over the past five months. So I can set this to any time I want. And now what I can do is I can, you can get creative here. You can create different lists. So for example, you're going to want to create a list, a separate list for your landing, for your thank you page. So if you have an opt-in 
like a, an offer and then on the thank you page you're going to want to create a list inside here so you're tracking visitors that land on that thank you page so you might run a campaign targeting visitors who landed on your blog but did not but you're going to you're not going to target people that landed on the thank you page so and I, i'm not going to go into the details on how to create a campaign here because this is so brand new i'm not even um collecting visitors yet but i'll be i'll be making an update to this don't worry but you can create multiple lists so you can create you know lists that track visitors that land on your thank you page after they opt in for a free offer you can track visitors that land on the confer sales confirmation page so when you're setting up your ad campaigns i can say i want to target everybody that visited dominatewebmedia.com and i want to exclude everybody that landed on dominatewebmedia.com forward slash you know facebook checklist thank you or something like that then i know the only people that are going to see this are the ones that visited my blog but the ones that vi visited my thank you page so that means they've already opted in they're going to not see this it's going to it's going to exclude those those visitors okay so it's really smart and you can set up a lot of a lot of smart types of campaigns which i'm not going to go into into this video I just wanted to make this an intro video so you can get at least get the pixel up on your site starting and tracking visitors okay and you know put it on your site and then check the next day if it's not adding visitors then then you probably did something wrong maybe you put the pixel on the wrong part of your site or something like that so um, like I said I'll have more updates later but get the pixel installed start creating some lists on your main core website on your landing pages on your thank you pages so that way you're ready to go when you're ready to start running some campaigns a month or two or a few days from now all right hope that was helpful talk to you soon um, if you want to get more trainings, make sure you click on one of the links or opt in on this page so you can get a lot more trainings on, on Facebook and Facebook ads. All right, talk to you soon. Have a great day.